can do special effects makeup, uh, especially the wounds. To create wounds, you can either use latex, silicone, or yung mga wound wax na tinatawag. But these are all special effects products that if you buy and you don't use, after a while, titigas. Okay, so if you're gonna really focus on doing special effects, it would be costly for you to purchase these products. So we have to teach you a way to use everyday stuff or anything that you can find in your makeup kit to do these special effects. Okay, so we are starting off with doing a wand by using glue, cotton, your spatula, and of course your makeup, all right? So let's say we want to start off with creating possibly a cut. Kunwari nakipagsuntukan siya here. So let's make it kind of a big cut. Imagine if we can, if we can try it. All right, in that cut, we are going to use the glue is um is an alternative to latex. So we are going to use some cotton. And we can <laughs> and you can actually form it to have a hole in the middle to look like a wound. When you're doing special effects makeup, especially when you're using latex or silicone, it is good to use a, a gloves to protect your hand. You're not going to make it too thick. You don't want her to look like some <laughs> Now on top of that, you can reapply your glue. When you're doing this, you have to remove the makeup under. I didn't remove yours now. This is what I've known actually. Sana, under. And then we have to wait it out. Needs to dry up. Or hintayin nyo na lang talaga mag dry. No. Wait for it to dry. Okay, so let's leave that for now. Let's say he was in a fight and he needs to. And he has a cut. He's a terrible fight. Of the Los Bastardos. <laughs> and, um, okay, so I'm just going to, um, let's pretend that it has been probably three days after the attack. Oh, it's a gun. So, I'm starting off with a little bit of yellow. And then I'm putting a little bit of so this is kind of a this is a cut this is a black eye that is a little bit aged. 
not fresh. What you're supposed to use is very matte colors with a famous shimmery. So now, first I started with yellow and then I added a little bit of that brown, dark brown color going on. And now I'm adding blue and purple. Here there's that area. Yung nakuruhan, sinasabing nakuruhan. So, I'm spreading a little bit of violet or purple in that area. Purple. Mm -hmm. So, again, I started with this. Yellow. This is RCMB. Yellow. And then I added, I combined this like a brick brown with blue. And then now, I added a matte purple. I'm adding blue there, right where it's really, where the, the veins pop, and then I'm blending that blue out. So, so can you open your eyes, Jer? So there you go. It's starting to on the on day one or maybe twenty four hours after the event. This could be really very black, right? But a few days after, it's starting to heal. So only the the areas with a lot of veins is remaining very dark. And then we smudge out the yellow again. Because this is the time when the color is starting to lighten up. Starting to heal. So the areas that are starting to heal is starting to have that yellowish greenish tinge. Then if you have this, if you read your book, what do you call this thing? Uh, George Steeple's punch? Yes. Steeple's punch. punch. So you can actually use this to make it look like there are veins that pop. So I'm going to use a little bit of red. Mixed with a little bit of blue and purple, perhaps. With that blood tinged look. To make it look like the blood is migrating or has migrated. So it won't be too clean.
it's now like he's been into a fight and then now we're going back to his room. Because we need, we need to set this with a little bit of powder to remove any remaining wetness. As well as remove any shine happening. Okay. Main foundation is. And then you have to find the foundation that matches the skin tone of the person. If this was a wound wax and you found the perfect color that matches the skin of the person, you don't need to do foundation anymore. And then, but if you're using latex, you need you need or silicone, you really need to use foundation. So let me start by, do we have a foundation brush in there? Use powder and then foundation that matches the person. I'm just stippling the foundation because if you brush it out, all your color will be gone. I have a darker one, please. Okay, so you can actually color in the inside with a reddish color because it will be the center of our sugat. And then, siyempre, sumasabi. Have a little bit of palak. If, if it's a new wound, right? You haven't cleaned the outside. There has to be a little bit of palak. And then you can just use um, liquid, a lip gloss. We use. We need a little bit of light. Their lip gloss and then a parang purplish one because uh, blood is really not red like a lipstick. It's more like a dark red to purple. So you can put that in the middle. Yeah, it is a lip gloss. And then you can add that purplish color. <laughs> yeah, so even if you don't have special effects products, you can actually do special effects makeup. And then, of course, you need to that sort of bruising as well. Okay. So you can add a little bit more cut here or here. Depends on your story. Pinaso ba siya ng plancha? Nadaba ba siya sa pangbucho ng kotse? <laughs> ng motor? Or depends on your story. Okay ba mga girl wash? There you go. And then... For more professional makeup trainings, subscribe to us on YouTube or like us on Facebook. Permanent Makeup Academy PH 
and remember to hit the notification bell.